Hey, welcome back. We got a ton to go through here, so I'm going to try to go super quick if I can. And everything's from today and yesterday. We're going to start with some $1 hardcovers right here. Also got three bags worth of stuff. And we're going to go through that stuff really quick, hopefully, because a lot of it are science fiction magazines and nothing to really, you know, talk too much about. But let's spend a little more time on this stuff because we got some really cool sci-fi hardcovers here. The Complete Stories Volume 1 and 2 by Isaac Asimov. Really cool cover art on the back there and the front, but even mo much more so the back, obviously. These are in pretty nice shape overall. Not too bad. They got a couple little dings and tears there. One dollar each, though. Super awesome deal. And one more Asimov. The robot novels containing the Cave of the Steel and the Naked Sun. We saw this one, I think, in the last video. So, hey, found another copy of it. Awesome. Jack, the Jack Vance Treasury. This is really cool. And so this contains a bunch of books. I'm kind of assuming. Let's get try to get there really quick. Table of contents. I'm assuming those are all books or novellas or short stories. But yeah, that's a lot right there. Just yeah, assuming they're not chapters. And then we got the Chronicles of Amber, Volume One and Two, I believe, by Zelazny. The second Chronicles right here. Pretty cool cover art too. Same with this one. Pretty good condition. Excellent finds. Great pickups. As well as the Lensman. The Chronicles of the Lensman 1 and 2. E. Doc Smith. These are kind of similar to the other ones we've seen. The huge collections of the complete series of this of the lensman series old old school sci-fi you got two copies of volume two didn't really mean to do that i would have probably left this one but hey for a dollar plus discount whatever it's all good sometimes you're going quick too you know especially if you're working you can't take too long to look at stuff you just gotta put it aside and sometimes you forget you got two two of some of the same book we got the complete paratime, all the classics. So another one. This one is the paratime police stories in one volume. I'm not too familiar with this. H. M. Piper. Excuse me, H. Beam Piper. A little damage right there. Death World trilogy. This is always a fun find. This one's in really nice condition. Cool looking spine too, as far as the lettering. Anyway, yeah, Harry Harrison. I have that on paperback, but a few we got a few uh, copies of the hardcover as well. We found a David Icke book. Now these are kind of valuable in a way, you know. There's they're kind of a little bit hard to find, and you know some people are looking for them, so they're usually kind of expensive. There's a few books that he wrote, and they're always worth picking up if you can find them for cheap. And here's the see. I got this on a customer's recommendation. Same customer always recommends books to me. I'll get around to reading all of them hopefully eventually. I hope to because the first one, the only one I've read that he suggested turned out to be really fun, really good book. So we got Ludlum's The Road to Gandolfo. And he found me this one. I've been, though I'm searching for these books anyway, so I would have picked this one up anyways. Just didn't happen to notice it before him. Uh, Repairman Jack novel by F. Paul Wilson, Harbingers. That's um, no big deal on the condition because this is just something I'm eventually going to read. And we got The Case of the Mythical Monkeys, a Perry Mason mystery hardcover. This is a really cool find. Earl Stanley Gardner. Yeah, so let's see how old it is. 59. It's like a first printing and edition though, so that's pretty cool. Probably not worth a whole lot, but really good find definitely worth something i guess got these today there's a whole heap of doc savage books by kenneth robeson so we got all sorts of different um numbers of these so let's go through them super quick but we do have the first one this one's not too hard to find but it's all you know always better always good to have the first one especially if you plan to read the series you gotta start with the first one I might try these sometime. I got so many of them that maybe I'll try the first one. And if I happen to like the author and the series and the story, I'll end up keeping them. We'll see. 
thousand hit. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go through these super quick here. Not even keep them that organized. Four, or five. Pretty decent condition overall for most of these. So, yeah, number six. Yeah, these are somewhat, you know, sought after, valuable, rare. Not, not, not too, too much, but worth picking up, even in a big stack of them. Eight. And since there's so many, you know, as far as the numbers, they go up to about a hundred or so. It's worth trying to get the full, you know, full collection. 17, so yeah, we're missing just a few up to this point. This one's got a little bite taken out of it, number 25. A couple, um, number 40s. There, that's a better angle right there to go quicker. 42. And the back's pretty boring, they're just like that, so we don't really need to show that. 46. 47. Get that light glare out of there, there we go. Oh. That's number 48, 49, 50, 52, Vanisher, the Golden Peril, number 55, 59, Yellow Cloud. Okay, we're in the next stack here, we're still going, 61, 62, uh, 63, 65, 66, 67, 69, 72, the Metal Master, rock on, the seven, the seven Uggate Devil, huh? Okay, number 73. The Derek Devil. I think that is actually a word. Let's we'll double check on that. It sounds familiar, though. 74, 75. Man, oh man, oh man. 76, 78. Pretty cool cover art for most of them. Pretty a little unique, different. Kind of simple, too. Not too much to it. it always just takes up. Half of the uh, cover only. So you always got the big title and letters on the top. Stone Man. The Evil Gnome. Oh yeah, so that's 81, 82. That 83. 84. Oh, this one looks kind of uh, a little dirty in a way. Kind of scared of mold, possibly. 95. Okay, let me get those out of the way there. Okay, <laughs> got all the Doc Savage books out of the way, and this is gonna already taking too long. We got a ton of analog science fact and science fiction magazine. These are really cool. We've seen them in the past. I have a whole bunch of these fantasy and science fiction as, as well, especially. And now we have some more. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't have too many doubles of these, but I figure I might as well get them all anyways. These were bag sale items. So for $3 a bag, that's after discount. Really, really good deal because you could fit, there were so many of these that could fit in one bag. So nobody else was getting them. So I figured, hey, might as well give them a good home, I guess. So let's just go through <laughs> as fast as humanly possible here. Well, not as humanly possible, but to give you a chance to at least see all the covers right here otherwise this could be kind of boring if you want to get to some other books or the cds you could just skip forward and fast forward to the next part because we're going to flip through a ton of these but we're making good pace i think not taking too long how are you doing oh, this is a really cool cover okay so don't get caught up looking at them too long you could always pause if something looks cool too you know got that feature for those of you who don't know, if you want to skip forward a few seconds, or skip back a few seconds, you just use the arrows on your keyboard. Oh, that's right, most people use their phone, right? As far as doing everything now. The desktops are gonna become pretty. Yeah, do you think desktops computers are gonna become a little bit outdated? They're already kind of out, 
dated, but no, you could get the nicest, newest desktop, and no one's gonna scoff at that. But just the idea of the desktop, maybe that'll become something that's, uh, yeah, some of these are a little thicker than others. Maybe desktops, computers will become a thing of the past. Everyone will be completely mobile. I don't know. Doing, no, oh, think of how much the phones have advanced in a few years, man. They, if they keep at that at this pace, then yeah, the desktop would probably go extinct. You no need for it. The, the phone could do anything and everything. Though you do need hardware, but maybe micro memory, you know, in the in the in the uh, cell phones, they could already hold <laughs> quite a bit of information in them. So it's not too far fetched, I guess. Yeah, a lot of these look really spacey as far as the covers. Oh, there's something that looks a little different. Get a better view right here. That one's cool. Yeah, so I think this is kind of cool to get, you know, a near full, well, no, of course not, half full collection of these. I got a bunch more, like I mentioned, so. We'll see which ones I don't have, or already have, and yeah, figure it out from there. Oof, okay, that's just one stack, holy cow. Let's, uh, let's just keep going here with this back one. Same magazine. Oh yeah, let's go start up here though. Better view that one. I don't know what that is. Looks like something from Star Wars, like the thing that almost eats the Millennium Falcon in episode four. If you're really bored, tell me if you like episode four or five better as far as the Star Wars go. Looks this good. There we go. Better. This will go faster. I have to say five is the better movie, but four is a little more classic. Oh man, so many of these. We got two. There's a double. We'll see another double in a second, I think, with another magazine or something. Let's see, we've seen two doubles so far. Or no, three? I don't know. Holy cow. It's pretty awesome though, you know? I find, you know, if I end up being stuck with a lot of, you know, the stuff that I get, I'll never run out of stuff to do. Never, definitely not ever run out of stuff to read. looking yeah, which year is this one um, 2006 so this is actually a little older most of these a bit newer okay we're, we're making our way we're making a little progress here now we got one uh, uh, issue of the Isaac Asimov science fiction magazine these are really cool unfortunately only one of them though this is from <coughs> let's see October of 1990 so fairly old now we're going through the fantasy and science fiction magazine, usually monthly. And let's just go down, run down the spines right here really quickly. Lots of stuff from the 90s, as you can see. Actually, I guess pretty much all of it is from the 90s. So there we go. Got a bunch of 90s issues. That must be a weird story. <laughs> Jesus at the bat. Huh, I always wondered what it would be like if Jesus played baseball, especially space baseball. Like that, what's that, Blurns ball that's on Futurama? The ball's attached to like some sort of elastic string and it goes everywhere, it bounces everywhere, like pinballs everywhere. That's pretty creative of them to create their own future baseball. <clears throat> Make it more, they made it more exciting in the year 3000, you know. And speaking of, yeah, baseball, the excitement's going on right now with uh, the playoffs, almost the World Series. I haven't been watching much or paying attention, but 
Yeah, all the best teams are gone. No Dodgers, no Braves. Oh, man. Yeah, I like these better than the analog magazine. Plus, it's fantasy and science fiction, not just totally only science fiction. So, let's see. Oh, we got more. Let's let's just keep going right. Oh, let's take a let's take a quick pit stop. We got an ace double. This was one dollar right here. Really, really nice condition considering its age. It's pretty awesome there. But one of them is by A.E. Van Vogt, which is really cool. Earth's Last Fortress, and then you flip around. You have to flip this way. Not that you. Know not horizontal. Lost in Space by George O. Smith, who I am not familiar with at all. And Alexander Sol Zenison. I'm saying it wrong, but whatever. The Gulag Archipelago. I'm saying that wrong too. I always mess that one up. This one is in really, really, really nice condition though. Oh, we're almost to the end. Let's, let's take a break. Uh, uh, let's go back to these really quick here. We're just going to go get these out of the way because got to get them out of the way. Yeah, what, what kind of years are we been dealing with? Mostly in the 2000s for all, almost all the issues that we've seen. A lot of newer ones, too, like from the last few years. So that's kind of cool. I'm not sure, you know, how many people actually still subscribe to printed stuff like this. So they did probably print less of them nowadays. So and I know with the fantasy and science fiction subscription uh, magazines, they started doing them, I think, bi-monthly later on. So only t every two months, probably for those reasons I was mentioning. Oops. Show better. Covers better there. Oops. Okay. Getting in the dark a little. There we go. Oh no, this one's just all weird. This one's. Yeah, something's wrong with this one. That's actually not the lighting. Yeah. Okay. Hope that's not like. Yeah, same with that one. I don't know what that is. That might not be good. Okay, let's. Uh, those will be thrown away pretty quickly, actually. So. Let's. Uh, Get that, set those aside. Over there. Make sure the backs of these aren't. Now I might be over paranoid about that, but better safe than sorry with something like that. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's go quick again. That is an unusual looking cover. I think a dinosaur lizard type snake thing in a suit in his room with his cat. Yeah. And this guy. What's he up to? What the hell? Okay. And, oh yeah, that's one of the science fiction, uh, fantasy and science fiction. And same with that and that. Let's separate these really quick here. And one more analog. All right, let's check out the CDs really quick. Now, this one doesn't have Cover. I'll just replace it with another one, but I got a bunch of Mahler symphonies. I guess symphony number five and six. One disc right there. This one's, we got number eight and nine. It's all Mahler. Seven. And Das Lied von der Erde. And symphonies three and four. And symphonies one and two. So I think we covered them all. Yeah, pretty sure. If not most of them. Some Barber or Barber. Samuel Barber. We got symphonies one and two. I asked a co worker what his favorite, comp older guy, what his favorite composers were. And he had to think about it for a while, but the first name he mentioned was Barber. Barber. So. Interesting coincidence, because I don't got too much other classical music other than Mahler here. I think I did mention Mahler to him too. We got Kansas, the greatest hits. And it's all those songs, some you might recognize. Gone with the Wind of Punk Samplers. Who do we got on here? The Ataris, the Vandals. 
NXPX. They're like a Christian band. NXPX, right? Velvet Revolver. I'm pretty sure this is the one with Scott Weiland, right? They had a couple of different singers, but yeah, that's a good one. Best of Eddie Money, I think. It's the best of, yeah, greatest hits. Rolling Stones, one of their later albums. Clockwork Orange soundtrack, which does have some classical music, so there's that. And it's all classical music pretty much, right? Yep. Pretty cool though. Soundtracks were only printed so in so much in so many numbers, so they're a little bit more scarce. That's why I like to pick up particular ones, especially of cool classic movies like that. This is the cure. It's mixes of a lot of their hits. As you see. I'm not this is kind of a random pickup. I I actually don't know what this is. It's kind of almost an accident that I put the grab this. But um, I think because I was interested in what it was, it just looked, I don't know. It sounded familiar too, infectious groove. So let's take a gamble on it. All the CDs were $1 plus discount, so pretty cheap. And no doubt, the only album of theirs worth getting. Plus the whole thing's pretty good though. And flashback with the Grateful Dead. So yeah, pretty good variety of CDs there. Now, similarly to the magazines, we got a whole bunch of these Ballantine World at War issues. These are in really nice condition. People love picking these up also. So let's just take a look at the covers really quick here. Not too many of these in comparison to those analog magazines, so. We'll look at the backs too. Don't take too long. The Siege of Leningrad. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I'm not into this kind of stuff though, but yeah, these are, as far as books and th that kind of stuff go, these are pretty cool. No, it's not Casino, it's Casino. <laughs> Yeah, overall, really nice condition, and they feel really good, too, in comparison to other ones that I've got in the past. And I haven't seen a lot of the these. I definitely haven't seen this one. Oof. Yeah, this could be interesting to look at, but I don't like looking at stuff like that, I guess. Yeah, doesn't really interest me, either. Okay, so those... I believe, yeah, those were bag items. And then some, these paperback books were bag items too. We got Heinlein, Brave New World, Huxley. This, this edition is in really nice condition and it's a, yeah, pretty cool edition. Jack London, South Sea Tales, nice condition. And I Alone Survived. Sounded kind of interesting. Got Ball, a Balzac, a, a Penguin Classics edition, black spine and back. So really cool pickup there. Mysteries of Easter Island. This was, <laughs> I kept like almost putting this back. This is just kind of random. Just threw it in the bag pretty much. It's a uh, heroic fantasy series, Richmond, Richard Blade, number 11. It looks interesting as far as, you know, the the way it's printed looks kind of vintage in a way. Dollar twenty-five originally, so it's from a while back. I have no clue what this is about. Just kind of a random pickup. This I do know about because I've read this book. James Lee Burke, part of the Dave Robisha series. I think it's like the fourth or fifth book in the series. Really, really good. One of the better ones that I've read in the series of the first seven or so. A Golden Nature Guide. Rocks and Minerals in really nice condition. These are always really cool pickups, especially on bag day. You haven't heard me say that in a while because of the size. I haven't been doing the bags as much lately, but getting those free books, which is even better sometimes. You know. Oh yeah, this is the Buck Rogers novel, 2419. K 
Camu, the fall Albert Camu. It's really one in really nice condition. Easy to find, but still a good pick up there. Richard Bachman, Stephen King writing as Richard Bachman, The Regulators, which goes along with the book called Desperation, which is like the name of the town of Desperation. And then this book you read, I think, after that one, or, or you know, uh, ideally, that's the order you read them in, I guess. Though I haven't read them, so I could be wrong. Let me know. James Blish, The Triumph of Time. But yeah, this is one I'm looking forward to reading that and the other companion book. The Kingdoms. The first, oh no, the, the first book of the Kingdoms. Yeah, I don't know much about. The, oh, Angus Wells, that's why I got it. So that's a really good pickup, actually. Don't see his books too often. Now, this is a book that somebody recommended, but I got another copy of it. I think you might have seen in the last video. It's kind of like, well, I got another copy. I can maybe read this one and give the other one back to him, possibly, you know, since I got two now. We'll see. He doesn't seem to care if, uh, usually, you know, you lend books out, just lend them out for people, I don't know. I never get mine back, so <laughs> that's just the way I guess I feel about it. I think because people never read them when I lend them a book, you know, so they have a hard time wanting to return it if they haven't read it. E Best of E.E. E. Doc Smith, not in the greatest condition. We got another ace double here. Who do we got? Doesn't really matter because this was a bag sale item. Oh, Kenneth Bulmer, so that's pretty cool. Excellent condition. And then we got three in a series by Harry Turtledove. This is the United States of Atlantis, a novel of alternate history. So that's kind of cool. These are in really nice shape. Really cool looking books, you know, as far as how they feel and look. Obviously haven't been read. So for bag sale items, awesome pickups. I'll bet those are good as far as reading. Maybe I'll keep them around, maybe I'll sell them. It'd be hard not to sell them in a set like that. It's usually what I go for when it comes to resale. Otherwise, a lot of books I like to keep because I'm picking out the books for myself also, just in case I don't sell them. So I'm looking, always just basically looking for myself. That's a good way to do this if you have a good source, a good bookstore to go to. We got some Jung Mandala symbolism. This ought to be pretty cool. So this was, um, oh yeah, this was a part of the bag sale. So. This is a really, really, really good pickup, considering it was in, got to put it in the bag. And same with some of these other hardcovers right here as well, like Hunter's Will, CJ Chera, pretty nice condition. Um, let's see, this is the Shatter Spear. This is the, uh, I think, I thought this was, eh, it doesn't matter, it was a collection, but by Robert Asprin and Lynn Abbey. We got some Zelazny, one of the Amber novels, Trumps of Doom. Harry Harrison, Winter in Eden, as well as West of Eden by Harry Harrison. So these are books go together, pretty nice condition, cool cover art. Excellent pickup on bag for a bag item. Another CJ Chera, Merchant, Merchanter's Look. And another, one more Harry Harrison, not in very good condition, but to the stars. Oop, yeah. That'll fold back, but still not very, doesn't look very good. And last but not least, we got the completely mad collection. You see this one quite often though, it's not worth anything or anything, but it's mad, so it's awesome, right? How could you not like mad? Well, most moms, I think 99% of moms don't like, n didn't like Mad back in, when this came out. Of course, this has been around, for, or Mad came out forever. It's timeless, right? Anyways, thank you so much for your patience and bearing with me. Best of, uh, I was going to say best of luck, but yeah, happy reading to you. Best of luck picking out a good book, I guess. And to those about to read or listen to some, Really cool music, I salute you.